Secretary of Defense back. Lloyd Austin speaking today that he is still working hard to free a West Suburban veteran kidnapped last year in Afghanistan. His comments came during a contentious Senate hearing on America's 20 years in Afghanistan and the U.S. military's chaotic withdrawal. Our political editor Mike Flannery has more. Seeking answers about the still missing Mark Frericks, a Navy veteran and contractor kidnapped in Kabul, Afghanistan last year, Illinois Senator Tammy Duckworth ended with this caution for the military brass. And I know his family is probably watching this testimony today. Well, this is, uh, as you have indicated, Senator, I, uh, I want him back. And, uh, you know, we're going to do everything, continue to do everything we can to get him back. Several Republican senators blame the White House. Please don't tell me that we're not leaving Americans behind. You left them behind. Joe Biden left them behind. And frankly, it was a disgrace. Several senators also raked the Joint Chiefs chairman over the coals for talking to journalists they consider to be anti-Donald Trump. General Mark Milley was grilled about phone calls he made to a Chinese general in the final days of Trump's administration. Calls that Milley said were approved by the then Secretary of Defense. I am certain that President Trump did not intend to attack the Chinese. And it is my directed responsibility, and it was my directed responsibility by the Secretary to convey that intent to the Chinese. During today's hearing, Senator Duckworth proposed creation of a new bipartisan commission on the 20 years America spent in Afghanistan. It would examine what went wrong and offer hard-learned lessons. I'm Fox 32 Chicago's political editor, Mike Flannery.